a dash of Piper, a bit of Bo's Mines, a sprinkle of Jesse, and you get Bell. Sort of. Bell has some really unique interactions and is going to be a lot of fun to play in specific game modes. And today, I'm going to teach you how to play her in 60 seconds. Let's go! Bell has a long range attack and super, so keeping at a distance most of the time is going to be a good idea. She has relatively low health and no way to really escape a situation like Piper does, but her gadget drops a bear trap that slows anyone that runs into it, which can help you escape a bad situation sometimes. Her positive feedback star power gives her a 25% shield every time she hits a shot, which will be better for less skilled players, but her grounded star power will keep enemies from reloading for 3 seconds when hit by her super, which can be massive in team fights and 1v1s alike. If you do end up hitting her super, it's gonna do about 700 damage, which isn't much, but a target is gonna also be put on that brawler. This target will increase the damage they take from all sources, and it doesn't go away until they die. That is insane. For obvious reasons, Bell's best mode is probably going to be bouncy, but I also think she can get some work done in 3v3 modes like gem grab, hot zone, and brawl ball, and possibly even duo showdown. Paired up with a tank to soak up damage for her, she can be pretty difficult to deal with. And the chance that your bounce shot will get some serious value goes up because teammates in Duo Showdown are usually pretty close to each other. And that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to use code CHIKEN CHICKEN in the Brawl Stars shop. Sub for more quality Brawl Stars content. Let me know down in the comments below who you want me to cover next. Until then, peace.